Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 36 with me Craig Barton. Now algebra is one of those things that it's very important that students get a deep understanding of it and I'm all in favour of teaching it really rigorously and using investigations and links with numbers and links with shapes and growing sequences and all that kind of stuff. But the bottom line is once students have understood algebra, they need to practice it. And that's often the case in maths, that students just need to get their head down and do 10 questions, 15 questions, 20 questions of something to make sure that they fully understand it. And there's loads of resources on TES which allow students to investigate things and use Tarsier jigsaws and all that kind of stuff. But, and I know it's a bit of a perhaps controversial thing to say, at some stage, kids do need to do a worksheet full of questions on something to make sure that maths becomes automatic and not something that they have to think long and hard about. But the big question is, how on earth do you achieve that while still making it engaging to students? Because it, the bottom line is, if you give the vast majority of kids a worksheet of 20 questions or 30 questions, you're going to do well to sustain their engagement throughout the duration of that. So that's where resources such as this really come into their own. Algebra Cluedo and it's such a simple idea and I used it with my year sevens who are delightful students and they absolutely loved it and did not moan once absolutely brilliant so it's been uploaded by Dan Walker and there's a load of files to this but I'll just talk you through talk you through the basics so firstly there's um, a set of instructions which is absolutely ideal which tells you how to use uh, use the resource and those of you've never played Cluedo I mean for one you, you've never lived but uh, it's a very, very straightforward game to get your head around. Basically, the kids have got to figure out who's done a crime. They've got to uh, figure out who's done it, where they've done it, and, and how they've done it. So there's a set of Cluedo cards, which uh, I'll show you here. If I could just dig these out. There they go. So you've got uh, four suspects, four weapons, and four rooms. So they all get cut out. And you as a teacher select one of the uh, suspects, one of the weapons, and one of the, the rooms as the kind of guilty party. Leaving you with nine cards left. And then, this is absolutely that's such a simple idea, the kids are then given uh, a set of worksheets. So the first worksheet, if I just scroll down, once we get past this, is on algebraic substitution. So perhaps the kids are working in groups of two or three or four, something like that, and they work their way through ten questions. And this is what I mean, it is consolidating basic algebraic substitution for them to do. But their incentive is, once they've completed those 10 questions, they bring it to the front for you, you quickly mark it, and if and only if they've got all 10 right, you then eliminate, give them a card, one of the nine that are left over, remember you've chosen three that are the guilty ones, you turn over a card, and then they know that, for example, if they turn over the rope, that the rope is not the weapon that's been used, so they can eliminate that. And then they get given worksheet two to go back. Uh, and play around with. So worksheet two, in this particular instance, is on expanding brackets and simplifying. And as you can see, the questions are chosen to increase in difficulty. And once they've completed worksheet two, they run to the front to show you, you quickly mark it. And if they've got it correct, then you, you, they get to turn over another card and eliminate someone else. So perhaps this time, Mrs. White pops up and they eliminate Mrs. White. So the net is closing in on the guilty party and the weapon and the location of the murder. Now what's even better than this um, is two other things. Firstly, and I'm always a fan of this, whenever people on TES provide uh, answers for this. So here are answers allowing you to very, very, very quickly mark those 10. And what I did when I did this with the students is if they got one wrong, I didn't tell them where they got it wrong. Um, and perhaps when they come up, up the second time and showed it me and they still got it wrong, then I was maybe a bit nicer and I said, right, well, you've either got question four, six or eight wrong, just to kind of help them narrow it down a little bit. But it's covering all the key skills. But there's something even nicer than that that's been provided here. And it's this, a set of uh, help sheets. So if students are having an absolute nightmare, um, of course I'm, I'm kind of coordinating this activity. So I don't have time to go around to everybody uh, and help them. So I just give them one of these little uh, help sheets, whether it be um, one on substitution, expanding brackets, or whatever it might be. And it's absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And these uh, these could be edited. You could create your own if you've perhaps taught expanding brackets using foil or smiley face or whatever. You've not done it that way. Um, f again, feel free to completely create your own for these. So, I mean, I did it with year sevens. And we, we haven't obviously done some of the topics that are coming down here. We've done the substitution, expanding and factorizing. But as you get down here, we get some lovely solving linear equations. Now we're expanding double brackets. Then we're solving quadratic equations down here changing the subject of a formula, simultaneous linear equations, and algebraic fractions. So you can imagine doing this with a GCSE group, 
perhaps a group going for B's or A's or something like that, or a foundation group and stopping at kind of worksheet five. And it's just, again, just to reiterate, what I love about it is it's that right balance between engagement, but also good old bog standard consolidation and practice, which is it's something that's underrated in mathematics these days, I think. You don't always have to be doing the fancy resources. Sometimes kids just have to get their head down and battle the way through things until it becomes automatic. And this is a lovely resource to do that. And it got me thinking that this is so versatile, just this idea of giving the kids this little incentive and sometimes kids just need the daftest incentives to, to get them working and this idea of kind of solving this crime just seemed to do it do it for my kids but you could use this for anything this, this idea that every time they complete a worksheet it gives them an extra piece of information that helps them eliminate things so you know I, i'd love to see over the next few months or years or whatever more and more of these cluedo resources appearing um, on tas so a wonderful idea that can be used with, with all students um, as it stands and also versatile enough that it can be adapted to use, use with any topic I would have thought. And that's been uploaded by Dan Walker and uh, I've, I've used Dan, Dan's stuff over the last few years and it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. He produces some absolutely amazing resources so uh, I'd strongly suggest you check out some of his other resources as well. So I hope that was useful and I shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.